Reagan's, Reagan Sample, real estate agent with St. Vrain Realty here in Longmont. And today I'm talking with Heather Marvin, who's the owner of the Times Collaborative, a co-working and event space in downtown Longmont. So thanks for taking the time to talk to us and showing me around your place. This place is awesome, the renovations you've done, and keeping some of the historical elements. And I just want to start off and ask you, what inspired you to open a collaborative workspace? I had the opportunity as a consultant to use several different workspaces and as a consultant found it very useful to have somewhere to go to meet with clients or to just be around other people. I love working at home but um, there's something that's missed in that interaction, that one-to-one face-to-face -face connection, so yeah. that's what inspired me. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely, especially after a year where so many people are working from home and remote, the chance to be able to have that flexible workspace and be around some people, or you just get a different scenery and get out of your house. Exactly, so, exactly. That's awesome. So when did, you, when did you buy the building? We bought the building in December of 2018. We had a lot of unique historical elements to work with. But it took us two years to really dial it in and finish it. Wow, that is a lot of work. The renovations are pretty awesome. The doors on the office are from the old boarding house. Yes. And just some other stuff. Can you tell us a little bit of the history of the building and what you know? Yes. So originally built for the Times newspaper in the late 1800s. Um, first floor was all commercial and where the paper ran with a separate retail space that was a cigar shop, wow. a shoe manufacturer. Top floor was a boarding house. I think there were 8 to 12 rooms and people came and went. You can see in the old um, archives who was here over the years. Oh, wow. And in 1925, they put an addition on the back. And um, since that time, it's just been through several owners and restaurants. Oh wow, that's awesome. It's definitely a cool historical building. Uh, as far as your business, the Times Collaborative, uh, how many memberships are here? How many private offices? Can you kind of tell us how that works for folks that are maybe thinking about getting out of their home office or getting that alternative workspace? Or maybe they've had a larger uh, office they're leasing and maybe thinking that they could save on those expenses. So what, what's the setup like here? Yeah, great synopsis. We have 10 private offices several dedicated desks so that you don't have to come into a different spot each day, but you have somewhere to lock your material and come back to. That's awesome. And then open space to come and sit for the day, get internet, coffee, drinks, food, and um, much more flexible so that you can use it when you need it and you don't have to continue to pay that overhead as things continue to change. Sure. Also have conference rooms and a phone booth for those private settings. Um, sometimes you need more people, and that conference space is really flexible in that way. So that's great. There's definitely people that had maybe a bigger office that are seeing they don't need that, that fixed cost. And maybe just a workspace, but then when they're meeting with clients or guests, then they can have that conference room. The private space, it's good to know like that phone booth area, so if you are in the common like workspace, you can go and have a private call and not have to go out if it's raining or snowing. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then internet, printing services, and all that, so it's all kind of wrapped into a more affordable, especially if you're getting started or just, again, want to get out of your home office and change the scenery. Yeah, exactly. Be around other professionals and away from those daily errands and tasks at the home. Yeah. The different things like you hear your dryer buzz in the middle of your email and then you're distracted for 20 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> Before we started recording, a little bit ago, like we were talking about just different event space and other uses that you have here too, the commercial kitchen. And Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. So we have a large space on the first floor. We can fit 40 to 80 people for different events, networking, um, at different corporate events for your own business. We do have a commercial kitchen. It's an R&D kitchen, so it can support reheat, reheat for events, or um, R&D where you're developing items for different retailers. So there's a little bit of something for everybody here, and you can have events, you can have your meetings, you can work and have the internet, you can be cooking. So I would just tell everybody checking out this video, come and check out the Times Collaborative, see the awesome renovations. I was very impressed, and, and I know you've worked really hard on it and spent a lot of time and money to refresh everything and make it feel clean and up to date, but keeping that historic feel. And it's just a really awesome uh, feeling here. You can't get enough of it from the video. So I'd say come down, meet Heather, 
and check it out and see if a collaborative flex workspace might be right for you. Hey, thanks again for taking time, Heather, and thanks for watching this video. <laughs>